It is eerie being here where so many died. These ruins are like an open wound for the city. Aren't they supposed to be rebuilding? Nothing's been done. Said I'll be sniffing around like dogs for a bone. Something's dodgy. Good point, Bagley. Tell me what I'm looking for. Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. What the fuck? This is it. The signal is coming from this spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. It's taken a lot of damage. Any idea what it is doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Perfect. Two more data relays to go. One more data relay and I'll have it.
I should do it. Now, I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Right. Got it. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back for you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Kelly dog. This clearly implicates Clan Kelly in the bombings. This was just a delivery. Clan Kelly probably made a mint supply in the bombs. So who is this woman? Not part of Clan Kelly. I think she may be in Zero Day. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, see if you can determine who was controlling the spider bot. I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Ah, oh, shit. We've got feds thrown into the mix now. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. So what? You want me to quantum tunnel through it? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good idea.
Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Right. Got it. RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. That... settles it. It was zero day. Eh, uh, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you were hired to fight all the targets? Duck it. We're all on need to know. Multiple teams were used, of course. Zero Day is at least tactically sound. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. If the police knew who the actual bombers were months ago, why wouldn't they release that information? The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Looks like Albion has taken over this station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I think the people will soon long for the days when the police were the law. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spiderbot will be further in.
Searching the area. Can you confirm this is the same Spider-Bot, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spider-Bot from the Tone bombing site. Any way to find the last user? Navigate the Spider-Bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I'm on it. Ah! That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Agree, fuck, would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening.
our past streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That will be the business, right? So don't help me. How do you have our best interests so far? If the police could handle their job, our would be necessary. But they can't. The tone body is a perfect example. A bunch of lazy, overpaid cops are sitting on the wheel. Well, they're not at the wheel anymore, are they? You're almost there. Make your way through this last bent path. We're being contacted by our potential recruit. Patching them through now. If I can help DedSec at all, just say the word. There's no need for repayment. This is what DedSec does. You can do it too. Join us. Yeah, all right. Fuck it. Got it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Sure. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. That's correct.
looking. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. There's only one way to find out what's going on. Let's go. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pings these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. The perfect place to keep a low profile. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Find me a way in, Bagley. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. I'd say someone's been doing some off-duty policing from this bunker. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Very. They must have followed some thread that led them to the tone. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's crew, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I?
Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. So we may be looking at Albion and Clan Kelly working together. This is bad news. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. A lot of people go missing every day. This is not good at all. We have to fix this. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Right, suppressing targets! That's a hit! Use a pursuit intervention technique. Right hand. We're on their tail. Over. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London Thorn, but I won't hold that against him. I'll Part of a others. set, maybe. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead set. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit! Well... Control to units. Suspect is swimming away. Negative. No sign of the target yet. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Calling off the pursuit. Over and out. 